Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. And, oh, yeah, just go ahead and subscribe to my website, and that way you will get, ooh, a notification whenever they open back up. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all of the ways that you've supported the channel. I appreciate it so much. Oh, that was different than I was expecting. I thought that was a different card. No, that will really change things. Okay. Um, oh, this is so interesting. Okay, Aquarius. There is, um, I feel like some connection either that has come in or it's about to come in. It will be different for all of you. Okay. You have the fool, which I'm going to put straight down the center there. I feel as though... Someone, and I'm not sure, I almost want to say this is you, Aquarius. Like for some reason, I just want to say you're the fool. You're the one that you feel a little bit more like you either started something new or you like really dove into something kind of like and trusting the universe and just hoping everything will play out type of a thing. And someone in this connection someone here is seeing you as free or vice versa. I'm not sure. That's why I was like, I want to say that to you. But for some reason, I just kind of see someone is seeing you as kind of like fancy free. <laughs> I never say that, just FYI. So that came out very specifically. Um, so this Queen of Wands feels like the other human here. And... I, okay, this is, how do I say this? It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You have also got Virgo, blah, blah, blah. So what I feel like is happening for this person is a little bit of a range of emotions. I feel like it's happening for both of you because you have the hermit and I feel as though there's something about like, this person is looking up things on you or you're just going like really deep into trying to understand the entanglement between the two of you because with the wheel of fortune it feels a little bit like possibly someone that you've met before or you've known before there's just there's a change in the way that you two are interacting and or maybe maybe even the way that you two are seeing each other Okay, there's a different, there's definitely a change happening here. And I feel like you're going really deep within about it because there could have been something about this connection where this person didn't really see you before. Like they, or they didn't take you serious or there was nothing, like you could have maybe looked up to them in some way. Or like I'm just throwing out a bunch of different scenarios as far as this person you might have looked up to them before and seen them as being very attractive or very like, maybe you kind of in a way had them on a pedestal. You admired them in some way, shape or form because Queen of Wands is very attractive, very fiery, very like, and I feel like there's, it's like they want you now or they want more of a connection. There's just, there's a shift happening with the Wheel of Fortune because this is where like all of a sudden the dynamic changes to a different way, so, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune can be where you're on the downside of things and then you flip to the upside, like you flip to the more positive side of life. And that can happen in just your interactions where maybe that's why I was saying they didn't see you before and now they do. And... That's why I feel as though you're kind of going a little bit deep within about it because I feel as though you're trying to understand and trying to get in center with how you truly feel about the connection because Aquarius, I just, I think this person, 
does want, like, they're very gung-ho, I want Aquarius, okay? Like, they have a lot of energy, inner strength, there's generosity, there's all the good sides, but I do feel as though, I mean, everyone has a shadow, so it's like, yeah, and that's why I feel like you're going deep within to figure out how you truly feel, because this person could have such a dynamic, like, fiery energy that it almost is coming in and kind of just naturally consumes you because there's something about their confidence or just like the way that they act on things it's very much so right here right now and I feel as though you're being a little bit more like even though I feel like you're the fool in some way like you like you when you're ready to dive or you're ready to be impulsive you will do it you know but at the same time like I do feel like in this situation you're kind of taking a little bit more time to dive in and see how you truly feel internally about this person because it's like they're coming in all fiery, which could very much consume you. Like, um, fire and air are actually very compatible. Like, but I feel as though, yeah, because air flames, like air will actually cause the flames to ignite within a fire. So if you think about it, that whole situation right there, that whole dynamic, it's almost like you guys will have some type of conversation that lights this person up and they're coming up with all sorts of ideas and you're kind of like, I'm going to go in about this <laughs> and really think about it. That's how I'm seeing your energy. So let's dive in. Okay. Aquarius. <laughs> Look at it. It's the fool again. Okay. This, with it coming out twice, I think that this person is wanting to start some type of a brand new thing, or you are. There's something just here about a lot of like new beginnings, new chapters that could open up here. And this person's super, yeah. Look, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. There's been some type of ignition to the emotions. Dude. Wow, I cannot make that up. There's the Ace of Pentacles. You might find yourself actually opening a new door. Or you're like, there's something tangible that might come out of this. Like you guys are talking about... There, it would bring some type of a commitment. It might actually also bring money in some way, shape, or form. Which no wonder that this person is probably thinking about this because I feel like they're kind of getting, like I was saying about the flame and the air, you know, there's something about your ideas or the way that you like view things that's very delicious to this person. They're seeing like, OMG, doors open. They're like, this could bring all this new stuff in. This could bring in new love, new connections. This could bring in... Um, maybe new money, it could open doors. And that's why I feel like you're kind of going within to see like, okay, how do I feel about this? You know, how do I feel about this person? We'll see. Cause look at, you have the seven of cups. Okay. And this is why I feel like what you're doing with this person <laughs> And this is what I think is going on in your little hermit mode is you're trying to figure out um, if this is kind of like a, you're trying to figure out if this is an even entanglement, if you'd be like giving more in it. And you're also trying to figure out if there's like an ulterior motive or something behind the scenes that you're not aware of. So you're kind of like trying to make sure that everything is aligned with yourself and that it just feels good on all aspects. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So... Wow, that Ace of Cups and Queen of Cups. There's something about this person that I feel like did kind of... Yeah, and look at the freaking Knight of Cups. Wow. There is something about like the emotional connection between you and this person. It doesn't have to be romance. For some of you guys, it could be. But it also could be like a friend or just something where... Or even a pet, you know? There's just something about this connection here that I feel like also could be grounding you a little bit. Make sense? Because that Ace of Pentacles 
kind of feels as though um, I feel like this person wants to kind of like get something settled in place. Sorry, I'm trying to pick up on their energy. But they almost, with the Seven of Cups, it's kind of like they are feeling like some type of interaction with you or whatever this new thing that's being sparked. And it could also be within you. Like, I feel like initially your response, like you'll get so excited because you just feel that entanglement from so much. Those are the mirror neurons. Like when you're around people and you can feel their excitement, you're like, oh my gosh, that's why I was saying it can be over consuming and kind of like takes over your energy because this person is very like fiery. Like they know what they want when they want it. And so that could be a little bit like, whoa, 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 like I need a second because I think initially just based off of that like reflection or that initial thing that we have as humans to just mirror what's going on in front of us, I think that your initial reaction will be to take on that excitement and you're like, yeah, okay. And you get all like worked up and excited about it. And then when you're actually on your own and taking time to think you're like doing this deep introspective and you're taking a look at all of your options you know yeah this is choices and decisions but you're also trying to make sure that you're like not looking in th at things in an illusory type of way like you're making sure that okay yeah is this grounded so you're trying to make sure that you don't just dive into things especially right now as mercury retrograde and you can be overly consumed by your emotions for things i feel like this queen of cups and the knight of cups is very much so like you're in some way very emotionally fulfilling or something and maybe even coming across as very empathic and so you've probably got like offers that are going to be coming in very shortly that are like, you know, possible collaborations or people that are wanting to just connect with you. However, this is applying, it definitely seems like people are very like gung ho to come towards you. That's what I want to say. But anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.